Hey, good evening. So one of my favorite movies when I was younger was the Terminator movie. And really the first one where they envisioned some type of future war where uh, an AI becomes self-aware and Skynet basically launches against our enemies. So run a scenario here where 1985 level of uh, nuclear weapons and... Skynet in the United States is launched against its adversaries and its adversaries, namely the Warsaw Pact, is launching in retaliation. So this kind of follows the original scenario. Scenario, I know in Terminator 2, they talked about it happening in 1997, but Terminator 1 really didn't imply that. You know, it really wasn't stated when it happens. So I'm going with the height of kind of the Cold War uh, nuclear arsenal when there was the most amount of warheads. You see running the sim, it's really taxing my CPU. I have a 5800X, and it is pushing it. Um, so you see there is some slowdowns and everything, but it's kind of interesting. Like I said, this is normally when I run these scenarios, there's not nearly this amount, but this is modeling the height of nuclear armament to see what would happen. So a lot of stuff's taking place right now. United States launched all out against uh, Soviet Union, so I included um, some of the Warsaw Pact states at this point. And Russia is striking back, and you're going to see that Pakistan and India and other countries are getting involved as well. So having a good old time. You see a ton, a ton of strategic bombers going out. Most of the subs and ICBMs have launched. There's still numerous air-launched uh, nuclear warheads as well. So letting this kind of play through. Very interesting. Anybody knows me, I'm a huge fan of the original Terminator movie. And a lot of people think after Terminator 2, the series kind of went downhill. I actually felt like the series went downhill after Terminator 1. And here's why. The first Terminator was like a horror movie. And it presented this very bleak future but it was a very tight timeline and by the time Terminator 2 rolled around whereas visually it was very impressive it really got silly I think that they never really matched the feel of the first movie the fact with Kyle Reese and his PTSD and all you know kind of a human element there that I felt like the following ones lacked so my personal opinion but um, I still wish they'd make a future war movie that was set like they envision in the first Terminator movie. Uh, what we've seen has kind of been, to me, just the future war scenes have just been too cheesy to me. So I've never been able to get into it. That's my personal opinion. So, kind of watching this still play out here. Very interesting. Um, I've got a uh, Taiwan Strait escalation using conventional kind of a conventional fight. I'm dealing with Command Modern Operations. I'm working on that. That one's pretty involved, so it's going to take a little bit of time. Calculating the casualties here, you see right there, United States, 137 million casualties right off the bat. India, 113 million. Russia, 75 million. China, 63 million. Just a ton, enormous amount of casualties. I mean, at the time, I've been well over a third of the United States population. And we'll kind of go into some of the country losses, but I know... Germany, uh, going to be almost, you know, talking two-thirds or more of their population lost. United Kingdom, huge amount of uh, casualties. Just crazy devastation. Would have been absolutely uh, insane, the amount of damage. So, yeah, look at there. Uh, 553 million losses overall in the world. Crazy. 44 million in the United Kingdom out of a 64 million population. So, just ridiculous. Um, obviously, then the robots would rise up. They would come and kill everybody and do all that. John Connor would do his thing. So, but I, I did an AI run amok video previous, but I felt like I didn't do it justice because... Felt like it didn't capture what was really kind of 
that 19 and mid 80s nuclear paranoia huge arsenals what would happen if everything went off so i really wanted to do a better justice and i felt like this was a much better representation so still looking at some of the casualties there um, you got japan you got ukraine uh, when it looks at russian casualties obviously that's not factoring in some other stuff but um there's the video so hope everybody enjoyed it uh, look for additional content please like and subscribe thanks have a